Working for a CRO vendor, it's not very often you get the opportunity to chat with somebody who's worked for not just one of your competitors, but two. But that's exactly what I'm about to do today. Tim Stewart spent a total of seven and a half years working for Maximizer and SiteSpect, and for the last eight years has been in charge of his own destiny as founder of website optimization and analytics company, TRS Digital. Tim, you've been an advisor to organizations of all sizes for, for, for many years. And from what I can see, you've been more than fully employed during that time. What is about your approach and, and, and also what methodology you use that keeps attracting new business? I mean, obviously, probably best talking to the, the clients as um, they'd have a better understanding of, of kind of like what made them select me, if that's kind of the, the core to the question. But I think the, the fundamentals for uh, organizations, larger organizations are not dissimilar to small, medium, is that they've got a problem and they need a solution. And same as most of our, our users on the websites. And so <clears throat> I think the main distinction I've had, the main uh, advantage I've had in terms of positive word of mouth and, and getting uh, referrals and getting more business has been that I generally have found that solution. Um, and that solution has been profitable and that solution has therefore led to the next challenge because quite often once you've fixed one problem you basically get elevated up to the next one so i don't think there's any great secret to what i'm doing or if i'm doing anything differently and uh, i think the the fundamentals of what we all try to do is is uh, is common to, to my business i think i have either through kind of experience or maybe a little bit of luck managed to have some good results and once you've got a few good results behind you, it tends to turn into uh, further work. And in our original discussions, you mentioned something about a mentoring program that helps you get additional work um, along the way. I've been doing a lot of work as a solo consultant for the last eight years, and there's a limit to how much capacity I've got just straight up there's, there's only so many hours i can sell there's only so much work i can do at a quality that i'm happy with um, and i have subcontracted or worked with uh, partnership agencies to either backfill on skills or, or backfill on capacity to try and try and get what is needed to fix the problem uh, sorted and i repeatedly found that i was struggling to find uh, reliable pairs of hands to help out and so about three, four years ago, I decided to start taking people up on the offer to mentor them or talk them through uh, issues that they've got with their, their challenges, their projects and unofficial capacity, really. But by helping those uh, companies and businesses and people come up, solve their immediate problems, talk to them about the process and kind of upskill them in some of the stuff that I've had experience with it's had a kind of a twofold effect. Uh, one, it, it and kind of main motivation, it, it feels good. You know, you, you learn through teaching. So it's been uh, instructive in me understanding kind of what I can do uh, in the business. But the second part, and it's kind of more a, a side effect than a conscious plan, is that by, if you want seeding the market with people who understand that I can solve problems, when those people, either their company has grown to a certain size, or the customer has grown to a certain size, um, or they get a full-time job and join a company, I'm front of mind when it comes to hiring extra support. So uh, it's a, a kind of a longer burn approach because some of these can take two, three years to pay off. Um, but I have found that I get referrals from people who have been taught, and this is the mentoring part, to recognize when they are out of their depth, but have also been taught that finding a solution doesn't mean if you aren't the solution you just stop you still find a solution you just look elsewhere for it and in a number of cases they've pointed to me and gone i can't deal with this by myself but i know someone who can and in most of those cases we've ended up working on the project together so effectively those people who came to me with their problem clients and i helped them solve that when they have got their client stable and growing the client then reaches a maturity level which is beyond the skills they've achieved to date i never mentored them on that stuff because it was never something they'd reached now they reach that point they realize i need more support and it becomes another teaching opportunity and that therefore ends up 
getting me paid for some of this stuff, even though the initial engagement that client was uh, not at a maturity level where would they would appreciate uh, the extra cost, but also some of the stuff that we'd be able to do. They hadn't done their foundational stuff. So that's been quite a good symbiotic relationship for me in terms of kind of new business development as well over the last three, four years. I'm sure that delivers a great deal of satisfaction to you because it's a bit like a parent who wants their children to inherit um, certain traits. Is that the case? Yeah, very much so. It's, it's a core motivation and it's one of those things where you know, when I see somebody who came to me three, four years ago going, how do I do, paraphrase, how, I, how do I do ABC? And I help them with the ABCs of AB testing. And then three, four years later, they're running an agency. And from what I can see, like I said, sometimes I get involved with their clients doing a good job of it. That's hugely satisfying. And I think also to a degree helps give back to the market. If we've got a, a better baseline for what an acceptable level of skill is, then it's a lot harder for kind of the snake oil salespeople to come in and say, you know, we promise you that, but cheaper. It's it's a, a kind of a minimum standard needs, needs to be reached. And there's a degree of authority in what we do anyway. It's very accountable. So it's maybe less exposed to that than other sectors of the digital space. But it does mean that if there is a association with quality and association with doing the job properly with the kind of conversion rates uh, optimization discipline, that I think is a tide that, that raises all boats. It means that we all have to meet a certain standard, but then a client base can come to expect that. And what we've all said and has proved out time and time again over the years is it's not a short term fix. It's not a I did CRO that summer three years ago and that's me done for CRO. I don't need to again. It's the adoption over time of an experimentation and optimization mentality. And we hear the word thrown around a culture within a business that that means that it becomes second nature and because for a lot of businesses that sort of shift in the way of thinking and indeed shift in the way they're structured is not natural or easy it needs somebody to help with onboarding that and if we've got a market full of independents and vendors and agencies who are not just thinking for themselves but are thinking that I will leave this client in a better state so that whoever takes over afterwards is working on top of the foundations I built rather than kind of chopping and changing and being uh, a bit more um, what's the word i'm looking for a piecemeal about how they approach their optimization program then we've got clients who have better success and if we've got clients who have better success generally they can spend more money on it so it's a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy it's a, it's a self-reinforcing positive loop um and if I'm just a small part of that by kind of finding people who've got potential and, and guiding them with no, you know, I want to say mentoring, I'm not charging people for this. It's, it's, it's no kind of financial benefit directly from that. But I think we all end up benefiting from it because we all know that there's a certain standard out there. And these people that, that come into you, um, be mentored, do they come from with, do they come with different levels of knowledge? Are you looking for a specific type or is it just you kind of mould with whatever you've been given? A little of the second, to be fair. Um, I'm not consciously going out and targeting specific areas. It, it tends to be I get more, more people come to me on the uh, marketing side rather than product side. And it tends to be all oh, getting people and will come from the kind of the consultant or the analyst side than the developer or the design side. You're listening to the shortened version of this podcast, which actually lasts around 35 minutes. If you want to listen to the full version, please visit your podcast player and look for Web Trends Optimize or The Big Lift.